Three billion years ago, scientists say Mars was a wet planet. A new discovery based on seismic measurements from NASA's Mars InSight lander is helping to unlock the mystery of how it turned into a desert. We know that Mars once had rivers, oceans, uh, potential oceans and lakes on its surface. And um, one of the big questions was where did the water go? Because the planet is now dry and cold. There are thoughts that some of the water escaped when Mars lost its atmosphere. Is it in minerals? How much is in liquid water? We've learned something new about the hydrogeological or the water cycle on Mars, that much of that water is now underground. Scientists say if it can be extracted, it will increase the likelihood of human settlement on the Red Planet. NASA has an instrument on the Perseverance rover, which has manufactured oxygen. So we just need um, water in some form for human existence, as well as making rocket fuel. Elon Musk is making Starship, which can carry um, 200 people to Mars in six months. So it's all coming together. So, you know, in, in 10, 15 years, um, it might not look like a science fiction anymore. The researchers behind this study warn it will be extremely difficult to reach the water, estimated to be as deep as 20 kilometers below the Martian surface. What we do on Earth is we often circulate fluids or muds to help uh, drill in get a little bit easier. You know, on Mars, you'd have to bring that or produce it somehow. You need the power, you need the equipment, so it would be very challenging. If they can get the water to the surface, it would also go a long way to answering the question of whether there's life on Mars. Barbara Angepa, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.